Uh, it took me a bit of some time for me to actually get to find the answer to this question. So don't feel intimidated when you are not able to find the answer very fast. Just try to digest, look at what you have, try to see the possible ways. So the two formulas that are very useful are the area of a sector half r squared feet. The arc length is L is equal to R feet or feet R, that is in regions. <laughs> Okay, so I want to find the value of R. So it took time for me to understand this. It took time actually. Maybe about five minutes. So looking at what we have, we've been given the length of AC, and then we are told OB is a bisector, so it means it's dividing the 7.2 into half. So 7.2 into half means we have 3.6 there, 3.6 here. Now, the other thing that we know is OB in itself is also the radius because it's a length from the center to the circumference. So OB is also the radius. Now, OB is the radius, but we can express it in terms of OD and DB. So let our OD be X. So if we were to talk about the radius, then we know that the radius is the same as X plus 1.2. So we've used the 1.2 somewhere in our calculations now. Okay. Now, if we look at again what, what I've done there, I've put x there, I've put 3.6 there, so we can still express, come up with another equation by using this triangle. We've come up with an expression in terms of a Pythagoras theorem. We know that this can be a 90. So r squared is equal to x squared plus 3.6 squared. So I've come up with two equations now. So this means we can easily now find the value of the radius. Alright. So let's see what we can do. So what do you suggest? What should we do? What should we make with subject in the first formula? So since we want to find the value of R, we can make X a subject in the first formula. So if we do that, <coughs> R minus 1.2 is equal to X. Okay, so therefore we have r squared is equal to have as x, we are now putting r minus eh? 1.2. In other terms, you can express instead of using x, you can say that OD is the difference between the radius and 1.2. Okay, so same way, same approach. Let's break this down. So we have r squared is equal to so that would be r times r r squared r times 1.2 is going to be give us it's going to be 1.2 r again 1.2 r and then plus 1.2 times 1.2 is 1.44 then 3.6 squared is 12.96 so I believe it shouldn't be an issue for you to multiply this since you're doing additional mathematics. So one r times 1.2, it means r times 1.2. So first of all, multiply the r with whatever is in the other brackets, and then multiply again this negative half by whatever is in the other brackets. That's what I was doing there. So what we have is r squared is equal to r squared minus 2.4 r, and then 1.44 plus 12.96 12.96 added to 1.44 so that is 14.4 okay so remember our goal is to find the value of r so these are going to subtract and then we're going to have 2.4 r on the other side equal to 14.4 now 14.4 divided by 2.4 R is equal to 6. So R is equal to 6. So found the value of R. Now we have to find the perimeter of a sector. Perimeter of a sector. So if we can have the radius, the radius we should found, we just need to add the arc length. Then we found the perimeter of a sector. So just one more calculation. So we've already seen that our R 
is 6. So what is the, the arc length? So the perimeter therefore is going to be the radius which is twice okay so 2 times 6 because we have 2 r and then plus the arc length which is r theta so which is 6 times the angle theta now do you know the angle theta that's where now we have another question do you know the angle theta no we don't so I have to find the angle theta for us to deal with this better so how do we handle it how do we handle it so we know our r first of all is equal to 6 and then we know this is 90 that is 90 we found the length okay so if our radius is 6 and then that is 1.2 then we are sure that our OD is going to be let's call it um, it's going to be 12 oh sorry the radius which is 6 minus 1.2 so it means this is 4.8 and then we know that AD is the half of SC so 7.2 into half again gives us 3.6 then we know the radius is 6 so we've got all the three sides of the triangle we can use Sokatoa to find the angle fit right So 6, 3.6, 4.8. Point so let's use sine. So you can say sine theta. The opposite side to that angle is 3.6. And then the hypotenuse is 6. So 3.6 divided by 6. Now sine inverse of that. So 0 0.64 is the answer I'm finding for the angle of it. 0 0.6435. Now, if you are careful enough, you can see that the angle of it I was using was this part. So it's only half of that. So, but we need a complete angle. So it will come twice now. So the angle we have times 2 gives us now the full angle we are going to use for our determine the arc length so if I multiply this times 2 I'll get something like 1.287 approximately so so I'm now good to go so it's just you trying to analyze and see what you can do at every point so plus so this is helping us to find the arc length Okay, 6 times 1.287. So the perimeter is 19.722 centimeters. That's how I end of this question.